Hey guys, I got another Amazon review for you today. This one's on a Bulfer dive knife. Um, I did receive it off Amazon, so I did get it at a discounted price for my review. Um, this is a, it's a dive knife. It's under 12 bucks when you buy it. So don't expect high, high quality, but it's actually pretty decent quality. Like, if you go to an Army-Navy store, you know how they have, like, the cases full of knives, and it's got everything from, like, $10 up to, like, 100 and something dollars, and I bought a set of, um, it was supposed to be a really nice set of knives from the Army-Navy store up north, last time I went up there, and it ended up being basically sort of like these, but, or sort of like this one, but the quality on them was way worse. And I paid almost 30 bucks for them. So keep that in mind. This one is under 12 bucks. Has a little sheath. Also has the strap where you can wrap it around your leg or around your arm. It's a skeleton blade or a skeleton design with some paracord wrapped around it. The paracords could be wrapped a little tighter as you can see. I mean, I can move it all around. The blade itself is actually really nice. Zoom in a little bit. The serrated edge is actually really sharp and the point's actually really sharp. I was actually really surprised when I pulled it out because I knew what the price point was. And normally, when it's this low of a price, you get them, they're not sharp at all. But this thing, I mean, probably do some damage. Straight edge. I mean, pretty decently sharp. I'll use a regular knife blade. So, I mean, surprisingly sharp for the price. I mean, it's pretty sturdy, too. The balance is off a little bit, but it's not... Not too bad. All in all, for 12 bucks, this is a nice little, be like a good little boot knife or something. Or a good knife for your kids. I don't know about scuba diving, I mean, I don't know about trying to fend off a shark with that snorkeling and stuff it'd probably be really good find something in the water you want to dig it out a little bit probably be good for that get caught on some rope it's definitely going to cut some rope if you get some rope like wrap around you or fishing line or something like that definitely sharp enough to do that it's pretty lightweight like i said the strength on it's pretty good it doesn't really bend that much For 12 bucks, I can't really bitch. Um, I would recommend rewrapping the paracord around it. It's actually legit paracord, not just the fake stuff. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but it actually does have all this, all the stuff on the inside of it. Probably make a good spear too, because you do have multiple holes in it. So if you unwrap the paracord, probably cinch it right up to a stick, make a nice little fishing spear. So for the price point, I can't bitch the sheath. It's a regular nylon sheath, but it's actually seems kind of rugged. 
It's got another spot for a, a little piece of paracord if you want to wrap it with that. Overall, it's really not that big. I gotta say, for the price point of the knife, I had to give this, because I bought a lot of cheap knives over the years. Um, I know a lot of people say you spend a lot on a really good knife, and you know what's there. Well, the issue is, I break a lot of stuff. And I break knives, I, I use them for what they're not intended for a lot of times, because I'll be using them at work. So I don't buy like the high-end knives, I buy some decent knives. I consider this a decent one. When I say it's a full out, I want to re rest my life on this if I was diving and came up against something. Eh, probably not. But would I say it was a good thing to have? Yes. Because I always, like I said, I carry multiples of things. Like I, I'll carry two or three knives on me at a time, two or three lighters at a time. It's, I always have. This is lightweight enough, you could keep it and you wouldn't know you had it on you. So, I'd say it would be a really good backup. That's what I got for you guys. I recommend it. For the price point, I rate this thing right up around an 8 or a 9. Price point wise. Like I said, it's not like a $200 dive knife. It is a $12 dive knife. And for that I'd say it's high quality definitely say it's high quality and in fact it actually comes sharp amazes me because most of these don't come sharp they're all like rounded off no point I haven't even touched this thing yet like I said it's going to need some cleanup oh, this thing will focus in on it come on yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a little jagged around the edges right here. If I mean, touch that up a bit, this thing would be almost razor sharp. I like that. <coughs> so, if you're looking for a reasonably priced double-edged blade, probably use it as a throwing knife, too, to be honest. With a little serration on it. Like I said, this thing will definitely cut. I recommend going and check this thing out. I'll put a link down in the description. Because this is way better than the ones I bought up at the Army Navy store. I bought one for me and Breck, and I paid a little over 20 for mine. I think I paid almost 30 for Breck's, and they were really bad compared to this. So that's what I got for you guys. I recommend go and check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. Nice little backup knife. Thank you guys.